We are starting a practical exam in Bad Soden am Taunus from the SO gas station. And later we hopefully come back here to the SO gas station in Bad Soden am Taunus. Bitte rechts abbiegen. Please turn right. Watch out for the pedestrians crossing because we are leaving a private property. And after that, checking the main road. And if we have a free spot, we can go and we are in the game. We have a yellow priority sign, so we are on a priority road. It's called Vorfahrtstraße. And the priority road does not end at the next intersection. The priority road is going on and on and on until you come to a stop sign or a giveaway sign. Or there's not very often, but you also can have the end of priority street sign. Traffic light is green and please turn right to Königstein Kelkheim Liederbach direction. Getting into the lane, slowing down, the straight traffic light is red and the right side is green light. So no risk for us, the left side was at red light. Country road outside the city, the speed limit is 100 and we speed up. It's a good day for exam, you see it's dry on the road. A nice September day. The driving student was lucky because the examiner was not from here and he doesn't know the cities around here. So the examiner asked me to give the way to the student. So I have chosen the trip. Nächste Straße rechts abbiegen bitte. Please turn right the next street. Getting into the lane with a full speed of 60 and if all four wheels are in we break down to a turning speed like 30, 35, 40. Right before left rule here at the island. We are from the right side and there were no traffic signs. Now we are heading to the motorway which is similar to a highway integrating on a high speed road. Here you get the back camera from me for the integration. Good speed here, indicate left and accelerate. Everything empty, the other car is on the left of the two lanes. Oh no, he was not, he was in the same lane. But we are faster than him because she accelerated pretty well. Here is no speed limit, so I would recommend not driving perfect 100. I would go 110, 115, 120. The recommended speed here is 130. So you should clearly go a little bit more than 100 because you can show the examiner that you know the rule that it's not just a country road, but it's similar to a highway and that there is no speed limit. Only the recommended speed of 130. 
we need the straight lane so we have to make a change to the left side everything empty easy to do Kelcam direction AT Sixty here they often check the speed. If you over speed, you get a fine. An der Ampel nach rechts abbiegen bitte. Please turn right at the traffic lights. You probably know that way because there was an exam where the driving student failed. Bitte links abbiegen. And I uh, put a link uh, into the corner here. You can click on the link. You will find the uh, failed driving exam. And by the way, it was exactly the same student. And I said to her, if I am giving the way to you, if the examiner is not from here, I go somewhere else. But she said, yeah, but probably it's better uh, to go exactly that way because now I know what my, what my mistake was. Yeah, and then she was lucky that uh, I gave the way and I have chosen exactly the same way like in her first failed exam. And this time it worked very well. Later, later, I asked her how was the trip, and she she liked the trip. <laughs> next Straße rechts abbiegen bitte. Please turn right the next street. Here's the split. It's like uh, halfway left and halfway right. So it's clear to make a turn. It's not straight, so a turn would be good. Bitte suchen Sie sich eine Stelle zum Wenden. Please find a place to turn the car around. Bitte wenden. So let's see, behind us, no one. Here's a nice big place to drive a circle but then she saw ah there's the rest of a forbidden area painted on the ground now she has to decide do we go left or right there was no indicator here she indicated left but she was steering to the right side and what is she doing on the right side was no car coming back side was free left side was free and ah uh, she turned around in one circle that's smart if you don't need the reverse gear that's very smart to do exercise well done bitte halten sie neben dem nächsten auto an und parken rückwärts ein please stop next to the next car and do the reverse parking 
a nice big spot on the right side more space than than we need so that's easy let's go before you steer to the right side check the left side that no one is overtaking or coming from the front side little angle here little angle there moving to the other direction it's like magic the parking process is a magic thing nobody knows how it works but almost everyone makes it we were a little bit far away so she made a correction a little bit right side a little bit left side for adjustment that the front of the car is coming in to come parallel that's good straight steering wheel and just going straight forward to the number plate of the front car do not go left or right right side is the curbstone left side is the traffic just go straight forward to the number plate and that's like if you stand behind that car on a traffic uh, light all right this extra exercise was also well done please go on driving a little bit straight back checking the traffic around and going out into the traffic it looks like right before left rule but the curbstone is going straight it's not turning in so that means we have the priority wir haben vorfahrt here again we have the split please turn right public street on the right side but still the corner of the curbstone is not turning into it right before left rule rechts vor links nobody coming we can cross And suddenly there was someone with the dog. She has no priority, but in exam everything is different. So my student stopped to let her go and we went on. If a pedestrian is crossing like she was crossing, only at the zebra crossing, at the pedestrian crossing area, the pedestrians have the priority. That's the only possibility where the pedestrians have priority if they cross 90 degrees uh, to our driving direction links up being better please turn left and the second option where the pedestrians have the priority is if you turn right or left and the pedestrians go parallel the same direction like you or the oncoming direction so like here if you turn right and someone wants to go straight parallel to your car on the right side then you have to wait for them they have the priority then the only possibility where the pedestrians have the priority without the marks on the ground 
Rechts abbiegen bitte. So, there's a stop sign, there's a stop line, we need a full stop and zack, there we have it. Checking the traffic, left, right side, but the right side is not influencing us because uh, they are on their side and we are on our side. This looks like outside the city, but it's still inside the city. And as a reminder, the city of Kelkheim put some 50 signs on the sides, which is good for us and good for our assistant system with the um, traffic sign assist. We have a camera inside the car and the camera is scanning the traffic signs on the side and it's throwing it into our cockpit so we always know what the car has seen and 98% this is right and only in 2% it is wrong or not uh, the sign was not visible it's also possible and the camera couldn't detect the sign Not very difficult until now, but lots of content. We've had main road, we've had country road, we've had the exercise uh, turnaround and reverse parking. We had entrance on a motorway, which is similar to a highway. Sure. Now we just need to fill up the time and we need to go back where we started. A roundabout is written on the sign and so we are waiting for it. Bitte fahren Sie den Kreisverkehr ein und verlassen Sie den Kreisverkehr an der zweiten Ausfahrt. Please leave the roundabout in the, uh, at the second exit. Zweite Ausfahrt. Second exit. A good training for you to get used to the German phrases is um, if you are driving in a car, even if you are just a passenger and you are using the navigation system, you can switch the language to German. It should not be a big problem to follow the instruction because uh, in most systems you also have the map in the display so if the if the system tells you to turn right in German and the driver probably doesn't understand he can have a look at the map and he knows ah that's right but for you it's a good training to get used to the German words bitte links abbiegen bitte rechts abbiegen bitte verlassen Sie den Kreisel an der zweiten Ausfahrt bitte wenden bitte wenden bitte wenden an der Ampel bitte links abbiegen. Please turn left at the traffic lights. And we have an arrow inside the traffic light. That means we have freeway. We should not wait for oncoming traffic and not for pedestrians after our uh, left turn. Only the oncoming traffic left turner also has green light, but no one else. We are still inside the city. It's a very uh, wide road here. It invites to overspeed, but she was doing it perfectly. Perfect 50 until you are at the end of city sign. Here it is. And it's throwing us up to speed limit of 100, but there was the 80 sign. So 80 is the limit. Back on the country road outside the city and Heading to the Bad Soden direction.
We probably need some music. Uh, let's see if I can uh, get some music for you. Wait. Uh, where is it? Uh, <coughs> beer. Links abbiegen. Please turn left the next street. And here it's important getting into the lane with the full speed of 60 and then breaking down to a turning speed of 20 or to stop to zero in the center of the intersection. You see, she was overdriving the waiting line to be in the center. Now she is turning in the shortest possible way. Here is the triangle island with no traffic sign right before left. So in this case the right side has priority. We have already been here so now we turn right because if we go straight we are at the motorway entrance. So we go right to Bad Soden am Taunus. Here is the beginning of the city sign on the right side. Maximum speed limit is 50. Verlassen Sie den Kreisel bitte an der ersten Ausfahrt. Please leave the roundabout at the first exit. Checking the left side, no one inside the roundabout. Entering, indicating, leaving. And another one. Verlassen Sie den Kreisel bitte an der zweiten Ausfahrt. Please leave the roundabout at the second exit. Academy driving school truck from the left side. Leaving the roundabout, good for us. We can enter. That's number one. That's number two. And the... People were pressing the button for crossing. So we have to stop. It's still exam time, but no driving time. And green light. Speed limit is 30. And we have the priority only for one street. Vorfahrt an der nächsten Kreuzung oder Einmündung. Here we have the same sign, Vorfahrt an der nächsten Kreuzung oder Einmündung. This is good for us. So someone is crossing, but already on the other side of the road, so we can keep going. And another zebra crossing, this time no one here. One side is blocked by the construction, but it's not our side. And another zebra crossing, nobody there. Okay, let's go on. Geradeaus, straight.
An der Ampel bitte rechts abbiegen. Please turn right at the traffic lights. We are almost done. She is very close to her license. Fahren Sie bitte in den Kreisel rein und die zweite Ausfahrt wieder raus. Second exit. Is the roundabout free? No. One was indicating. Now we can go. Exit number one. Exit number two. Und dann rechts auf die SO Tankstelle. We turn right to the SO gas station. Watch out, we are passing the main entrance of the ESO gas station. Don't kill people in your last meters of your exam. And then we just place the car in front of the gate. And this was another past driving exam.